We are looking at temperatures a little on the chilly side this morning. By the afternoon, though, a few more degrees from yesterday, so that's not so bad. Flurries today, a few snow showers in the mix tomorrow, and winds a little brisk throughout the weekend. We're going to notice that at times. Seasonable temperatures return next week, meaning we should be in the upper 30s as an average high, and we'll get there. Temperature yesterday was 27 for a high. On Thursday, we had 28. Remember earlier in the week when we had those upper 40s, even 50s for Monday and Tuesday? Yeah, very mild start to the week. Overall, we're about a degree and a half below average. What we are far above is snowfall on the month. So over 20 inches of snow for the month of February. Right now, we're in 13th place for the snowiest February on record. And we are looking at season snowfall so far near 40 inches. So that is above average as well for the season since November 1st. 21 degrees in Southfield. It is 20 in Redford and Warren as well. You're at 18 degrees in Wyandotte. Head to the north and those temperatures get colder. 14 in Lake Orion, 15 in Romeo. KPAC at 14 single digits right now. Port Huron. We look at winds. Winds really aren't too strong, so not a huge impact on wind chills this morning. We're seeing it in a couple of spots like in Jackson. Feels like 8 degrees, 11 in Adrian, also in Detroit, but winds will start to increase a bit after 10 or 11 o'clock. So into the afternoon, a west wind about 10 to 20 miles per hour, gusting 20 to 25. So we look at the impact on our wind chills this afternoon, and we'll see those wind chills in the teens and staying there, upper teens to around 20, in fact, for our wind chills through the afternoon. A few flurries, a light snow shower floating through at times. We're seeing that through southern Lapeer County right now, Washtenaw County, on over into Wayne County. You can see up toward Westland, even Oh, moving toward the Detroit area, very light. That's a key for us and mainly through the morning. This is courtesy of the lakes and our wind direction. So as temperatures start to moderate a bit for the afternoon, we'll see fewer opportunities for these flurries from time to time. Now tomorrow, we actually have a weak front that pivots through and that will likely bring again flare up of a snow shower, maybe even a brief snow squall tomorrow, but it does look like it's scattered. It does not look like it's real widespread or concentrated in one particular area. Temperatures today in the low 30s, peaks of sun, southwest winds at 10 to 20, and then we'll bump those temperatures up into the mid 30s tomorrow. 31 on Monday, so with that system coming through, a little colder for Monday, but we quickly recover by Tuesday 42. Tuesday night into Wednesday could see a little bit of a flurry or a light snow shower. And again, late Wednesday too with those temperatures in the upper 30s.